Well, that's a fail. Today, I have another blind buy haul for you, a perfume haul to be exact. Three perfumes, two of them were blind buys. Well, all of them were blind buys. Two of them I haven't even smelled yet, not even unpacked. So let's get right into the video and unpack them with me and let's find out if they're gonna be additions to my collections or just gonna make nice presents. That's the last one. Hi, my name is Amanda and if you love anything about luxury fragrance, anything that has to do with fragrance really, then you're on the right channel and make sure you subscribe because I'm fairly new here. Also, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on an if you follow me on my Instagram because I post content on there as well such as fashion related content and anything perfume related really all kinds of stuff so if you want to know more you need to follow me there also I'm gonna do a Q&A once I hit thousand subscribers and I will be putting the question box in my Instagram story so head over to Instagram now post this video and follow me this video is actually in collaboration with the lovely Elicia from the Simple Chic Life channel. I'm sure you know her because she has an amazing channel. I love her videos. I watched them before I was on YouTube and I love to watch them for doing some errands. She has such a calming voice and I love her recommendations. Also, if you plan on doing a bubble bath, you need to listen to her voice and to her videos. They're really, really lovely. She's not only a really um, creative content creator, but she's also a really nice person in real life or on behind the camera. So make sure you follow her right now on her YouTube channel. Make sure you follow her on her, on her Instagram in order to be updated whenever she posts something new and yeah let's get right into the video so the collaboration with Elysia is because she actually purchased a perfume that I recommended and I, rec I purchased a perfume that she recommended and probably in my last video you have seen that I have opened up some samples that I got from a site where you can order samples and one of them was Lyra this is actually was actually inspired by her because she got the perfume Lyra and it smells like lemon cookie so why wouldn't I want to get it um I finally decided to get the perfume but I decided to get the hair perfume instead um, because I felt like it was similar not the same at all to Contre moi by Louis Vuitton it just that I felt like it would be a perfect hair perfume and when I saw that they had one I immediately needed to get it the thing was I'm scared that they discontinue the what is it called the luxury bath collection what they also have the body lotion because I F try to find it everywhere and I only found it on two places where they shipped to Europe so I'm gonna link all of the perfumes you see today below regardless of whether I like them or not but make sure you go down and head in my description box in case you want to purchase a perfume the links are normally for the US and the UK or Canada um, so yeah make sure you get, check down below that will really help me out and also will be really a nice gesture for you to purchase your perfume via the link I provide you so this one is actually not a first impression because I've tried it before to give you some feedback. This is the package and this is how the bottle looks like. It is 30 ml. I think the price is correct. If you compare it to the perfume, it is a lot less and I love this smell. It just smells like Madeleine's to me. I will try to put them here somewhere. It's like a French bakery, like little lemon cakes, super sweet and i love love this in my hair like i cannot tell you how good my hair smells when i wear this it lasts also quite long but i would recommend you to spray this really after you did your blow dry not when you had your hair open a few days because i think that i just feel like when you have hair perfume it really grabs to your hair better when it's freshly washed and then it lasts for me at least it lasts for quite a few days and i love this i mean if your hair smells like this I don't know you move mountains girl because it smells so nice it's like vanilla like some lemon cake kind of feel to it it just smells super gourmand and I really really love this I love this so much that I'm thinking I'm actually gonna get the perfume as well it's just so beautiful I cannot imagine anyone not liking this and I would really recommend you to get the hair perfume I'm also gonna link the perfume below but um this is only 30 ml and because I'm worried it's gonna discontinue, I'm actually gonna order a second bottle, I believe so. By the way, make sure you get something to drink because this is gonna be a long video. 
If you want to have a more of a depth review about this perfume, I'm also gonna link not only the video we are collaborating with Alethea, but I'm also gonna link the video where she did a review on um, the Libra normal perfume, not the hair perfume, but it smells the same. It's just that hair perfumes, the atomizer is better suited for your hair because it's a little bit more of a mist, you know? So it's a little bit more covering for your whole hair. And also hair perfumes normally tend to have less alcohol concentration so that it doesn't damage your hair that much at least. So now we're going to the blind buzz, bli the blind buys, and I haven't even opened a plastic. The first blind buy that I got is Gran Ballo by Xerjov. I know this is a more a, a release that has been released since a few years already, but I just didn't get to try it also because there's no counter or any stand where they sell Xerjov where I live. And there's a French um there's a French YouTuber that talks about perfume. I can link her channel below if you speak French. And she raved about this one. And a lot of people compare it to Juicy Culture Gold. I've never tried this one, so I don't have any comparison, but it's said, it's said that it's a gourmand, a little bit of a floral, and it lasts really long, has a good sillage, and apparently is a super sultry scent. So I decided to get the 30 ml. This is how the box looks like. Oh, it's the other way around. And this is the gorgeous bottle. It's really beautiful. It's like a milky pink bottle. And I'm actually scared, so I'm gonna spray it on a piece of paper and then I'm gonna also try it on my skin. So we will see whether I like it or not. This is again Grand Ballot and this is 30 ml. I didn't, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Hmm, I don't smell anything like this, so. Mm, it's nice, but I've never smelled anything like it before. I'm just gonna add it uh, onto my skin. I really like the atomizers of Xerjov. I think they're really good quality. I think I need to set it because I've I let it set, sit because I've actually watched videos where they say you have to wait a little moment. So, um, what do we do? Do we continue with the other one whilst this is gonna sit a little bit? Okay, um, you know that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you the next one and then I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on this one just to let it a little bit sit. Um, what I can tell you just from this... Let's, let's let it sit for a little bit. Let's not get my first impression off. Um, the second one or the third one that I got is... Al Contrario, which is from Tiziana Terenzi and it's an extra de parfum, the 50 ml and okay. so this is the bottle and this is this is the bottle this was the box and this is the bottle and why did i get this so i got this because i've read the notes and i was hmm. okay that's gonna be it <laughs> no Seven hours later i finally managed to open and you actually get a separate one in case you don't want to carry this block um but the bottle is really nice um i just think that it's really small it's a 50 ml but the reason why I get it, sorry, today I feel like I'm a bit all over the place. But <laughs> the why did I get the perfume? So I got it because I really loved it in terms of the notes. And I think there's a little book in here where I can find it. Let's try. Yes, 
So the notes are, um, the top notes are malt, ebony wood, cacao pods, stone powder, and the middle notes are vanilla orchids, tonka beans, and the base notes are sandalwood, cane sugar, and benzoin and hazelnut. The reason why I got it really was because I love a hazelnut note. I think it smells so good and it sounded to me like such a delicious Cormant perfume and also people comparing it to tiramisu, cappuccino, so I was like, I need to get it. So that's why I got it. Also, I really, really love Tiziana Terenzi. I, it became one of my favorite niche brands. I just love their DNA and what they do. So let's try, shall we? What do you reckon? Do you reckon all, I like both of them? Because I haven't really smelled now Gran Balo. I really want to let it set. And then I'm going to talk about the notes as well. Okay. So on the paper, I don't really smell much, to be honest. It's a milky kind of perfume. So I'm going to try it on my skin. And that's why I always tell you guys, when you go to buy perfume, don't use it just on paper. I'm sorry for the light, by the way. I think it's changing again. Um, what I meant is that a lot of times when you go and try perfume out in the store, I know that myself when I go, they always will put it on paper and I just felt feel like I don't really know how it's gonna smell on my skin because it's so different. By the way, I smell it now. It's very, very light, like, what's going on today? Like, I cannot smell anything. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for a while as well. And I just see that it, can you see that? It leaked. So I don't know if that's supposed to do that. I don't think so. Um, that's not good. Almost. Oh, that's not odd. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Well, that's a fail. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna leave it and then I will see if it keeps on running, I'm gonna contact the company. But in terms of smell, it's really nice. It is a skin scent, so let me tell you this. It's not very strong smell. And it has the um, it has the Tiziana Terenzi DNA. Like, what's going on? Did you hear outside? <laughs> um, I cannot smell like from now on. I cannot smell the hazelnut. I can smell a little bit of cacao. I smell the vanilla, but it's a very soft. It's not a very loud fragrance. I would have to try it a little bit more. Okay, so this is Gran Bello. Okay, so now I have more thoughts about it. I really like this. I think Gran Bello is very, very beautiful. Um, when you first spray it, you don't really smell it that much because um, I feel like that you smell like, first of all, you just smell the alcohol content. And then when it dries down, at least on me, it gets a little bit more of a sweeter gourmandy note. And it's really, really nice. I actually think this is very, very, like, this is a very, like, how do I explain that? I feel like these kind of notes and this kind of smell probably exists in some fragrances. So it's not something extremely unique, but I think there's an elevated touch to it. I really like this. I have to tell you the notes. There's no, um, unfortunately, with the Grand Bell, there was no a note whatsoever. So I'm gonna tell you. What are the notes? I'm gonna tell you in a little bit what are the notes. Okay. So it is described as a floral gourmand fragrance. And the notes are caramel, honeysuckle, gardenia, vanilla, jasmine, and amber. And it's really, really beautiful. I'm really happy I like this because I was worried I wouldn't like it, but I actually really like it. Let me spray it a little bit all over. 
so yeah if you get this please let it give it a second because i really feel like the beauty comes when it dries down i can definitely smell the gardenia or the jasmine in combination with the caramel it's really beautiful because it's slightly floral but i'm not one that loves florals like too much florals but it has a nice gourmand note which makes the florals a little bit softer and i agree it's a very sultry scent um you can definitely smell the vanilla which makes it a little bit of a it makes me remind a little bit of tropical scent i know it's not supposed to be a tropical scent but it's really nice i really like this so this was definitely not a fail i would have to make a full review so make sure you comment down below whether you want a full review of this perfume because obviously it's the first time i tried it today i know people love to get like oh actually the notes are here so people like to see first impressions but personally i love to watch them but i think your opinion can change so much from a first impression to actually whether you use the perfume and um so i'm not sure how it's gonna perform i don't know how it's gonna be i would have to really check so i will definitely let you know but let me know if you want a full review of it then we come to the Al contrario, which is so sad that it's leaking so much. Let me check again. I don't know if it's continued to leak or if it just leaked because I sprayed it. You know, I need to watch this because obviously this is really expensive. So if it's leaking, that's not ideal. Okay, so people compare this to cappuccino. Again, let's give it a try. You know, I'm gonna drink something and I wait until it sets. You know, first impressions are good because at least you see the fails that can happen. But I think that um, obviously when you transport perfume, there can be some issues, but I think the lid, it needs to be like sealed because these are really expensive perfumes. This is a 50 ml. So imagine this leaks, you know. Um, So I will have to make a picture. I will definitely send it because at least I will let them know. Maybe they need to control the batch. Okay, so now the scent is coming through. I would recommend you if you like Al Contrario, you want to try it, make sure you spray a lot. Cause like I, okay. Okay, so this is a skin scent. If you want something that's woody, that's a little bit more on the, um, yeah, a little bit more on the woody gourmando side, and you want something that's not too strong, then you should try this out because this is a skin scent. Yes, I can tell why people would say this smells a little bit like cappuccino, but it's very, very close to the skin. Like I really have to smell strongly. I thought this was like a scent bomb with like cappuccino, no, ca cacao notes, hazelnut. And it's very, very light. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if I would recommend this perfume um, if you like, like me, woody scents, because it's really not strong. at least on me so yeah i don't know about this perfume it's an extra parfum it's crazy because it's sandalwood cane sugar benzoin and hazelnut these tend to be like really strong perfumes but here is a this is an intimate perfume like the intimate sentiment of the newly returned wayfarer okay so that explains a lot this is an intimate perfume so don't expect something that's incredibly overpowering. If you're looking for a woody scent that's a little bit more on the lighter side, then you should definitely check this out. But I really think that my bottle is leaking because I just see some new things going on. Um, if I would have to choose one of those, I would probably choose Grand Ballot, which I really like. It's something I don't have before, I didn't have before. It's not something that is extremely special, but 
um, it's beautiful. There's the mix. I think there's a sm you smell like I on my skin really smell the mix between the honeysuckle, the vanilla, the, like the fl floral note with the vanilla and the caramel. So I really enjoy this actually. Mm. I think if you would like um, Kalian Love, Don't Be Shy or something with a little bit of more sweeter note, then you will really enjoy this. Um, would I say this is a gourmand? Yes, I would say this is a gourmand, but I would say it's a floral gourmand. It's not like a gourmand eating, like you need to eat it kind of thing. Um, but yeah. But I think I'm gonna get a full bottle as well of the normal perfume because I really enjoy the perfume mist. And it's really nice. I really like it actually. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a full test wear test of the Al Contrario and of the Casa Moratti, the Gran Valo, and of the Al Contrario. But I'm gonna let them know that the Al Contrario is leaking. It's leaking. So yeah, it's leaking. It's not good. So that's that, um, I, what we can do in conclusion, what we can come up with in conclusion is that two of three are total hits. Yeah, I, if you love a skin scent and you would like to try Alcantarario, maybe you can try them, try it out. I love Tiziana Terenzi's perfume, but it has not fulfilled my expectation. Let's say it this way. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's just an intimate scent. And maybe I should have read it a little bit more about it, but yeah. And the fact that also it's leaking a little bit is a bit disappointing, but maybe actually this is something that my fiance would like. We will test it. And maybe even if I wear it a few days, maybe suddenly I really enjoy it. But I see that they have included a cap that I think I showed you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So let's recap. If you're looking for a very good hair perfume and you want something that smells vanilla cookie-like, you need to get Lyra. And if you want to see the full review of this perfume, make sure you head over to Alethea's channel. Really, she's a sweetheart and she really deserves all the success that's hopefully coming her way. So make sure you visit my description box for her link. Also, we'll link her video in this description box that we did in collaboration. You guess which perfume I recommended and which perfume she got. Make sure you comment down below which blind buy you think I should do next. I think I should stop because like now. But I really love the Grand Ballo. I'm really surprised because it's not what I would normally go for. It's a very girly, floral, very sultry scent. Um, actually, I think this is something that like a lot of husbands would love or fiancés or boyfriends or whatever because sometimes woody scents, they don't really like so much. If you like it, you wear it, that's easy. But it's also sometimes nice when your partner loves a fragrance on you. I think this is something that he would like. Yeah, this is nice. I will definitely, I think this anti, um, and the Lyra um, have been my favorites so far. Um, so I think I'm gonna get the Lyra as well. Should I? Maybe, yes I should. Because this one was a total buy, total success. And I wanna thank Alicia on this point for recommending me to get this cause yeah, she also was really excited for me. And you know, I love her perfumes. I know a lot of people don't talk about it, but I just feel like you don't only wear perfume on your skin, you wear it on your clothes, but on your hair, and I have long hair, um, and even if I would have short hair, you just like whip your hair down, put some perfume on it, and you're good to go. I mean, is there a better compliment or a better view that people have of you than thinking that you are someone that smells really nice? Let me know if you find something better. I don't think you will be able to, but um, yeah, this is really, really beautiful. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so yeah, it's is it a fail? No, it's not a fail like the last one, but it's a bit disappointing, especially because the bottle leaks a lot. I think I paid 130 Swiss francs for it because it was on sale. But yeah, for me, a bottle should leak, especially at this price. I'm not gonna say the company's fault at all. I think it's also how they transport it. Um, so yeah. But I get Swiss, 
Swifts now from um, Grand Palo and I'm loving it. I'm a surpri I'm surprised because there's really a floral note that I really enjoy. Mm. But I smell the vanilla on it as well. I feel like vanilla notes on me really could go really, really well. So yeah, let me know in the comments below which are fragrances that you think I would love. I am curious, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I'm, ha I'm so happy that you're on my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't and I see you next time. Thank you.